Greetings from New York City. His story was made yesterday. MIT scientist took Shubhan Isaac interview for four hours. I guess it was four and a half hours. Yeah. Asking him a question raising light to all the way black hole. The world has never seen this type of thing before. Six year old sat down with MIT scientist asking cutting edge problem. Problem usually people don't understand just as black hole. The first question that the scientist asked Isaac was, what is light? Yeah, the first question, the MIT scientist asked him, what is light? And Shubhan Isaac described that the light is He kind of explained it metaphorically. He said, if you go to the Harvard University where I got recognition from, and if you go to a classroom at Harvard University, especially a physics classroom, a sound coming from, you'll hear a sound coming from all direction. Right. And after that, the scientist asked Isaac, where does light come from? Uh, well, the Isaac also mentioned that uh, f many people help us understand uh, the properties and behavior of light, including Sir Isaac Newton. Right, and he also... Albert Einstein, Niels Bohr, and Max Planck. And Max Planck. Yeah. And uh, the scientist also asked Isaac um, whether the light behaves like a particle or like a wave. First, the, the, the second question he asked him, to explain, he asked Shubhan Isaac to explain Sh Sir Isaac Newton's contribution in light. Mm. And then he asked Isaac to explain Maxwell's, Max Planck's contributions to light. Yes, Shubhan Isaac derived the Max Planck hypothesis and, and that is E equal to HF. And Shubhan Isaac made a joke. He said, Max Planck, who was? in love with Sir Isaac Newton. Didn't want to walk away from Newtonian mechanics. In fact, he felt bad walking away from Newtonian mechanics, walking away from classical physics. He had a hard time writing E equal HF. And Shubhan Isaac made a joke. He said, Max Planck took five hours to write H, which is, which is now known as a Planck constant, you know, six point. Um, 6.63 6.63 times 10, 10 raised to negative, to negative 34. 34. And then the scientist asked Isaac to derive the equation E equals H times F. Yes, and then and then um, uh, the MIT scientist asked Shubhan Isaac to explain Bohr model, derive Bohr model. And then he... And calculate. Oh, yeah and calculate the energy levels from N1 to N5. And then he asked Isaac how the Bohr model relates to the current model of the atom. Yes. And then he asked uh, Shubhan Isaac how much energy an electron has to gain to jump out from lower state to higher state, ground state to state number three. And then he asked Isaac what light is emitted by the electron when it jumps back from n from the energy level n equals five back to its ground state. You know, the biggest problem of uh, of 1899, 1900, 1901 was to understand why, what causes the electron to knock loose. Frank wrote the Frank hypothesis E equal HF, but Frank himself didn't understand it. He went crazy. Try hard to understand it, but 
himself couldn't understand it. It was Einstein Jr.'s saved him from embarrassment. So then the scientist, MIT scientist, asked Shubhan Isaac to prove, to show the proof of photoelectric effect. We are talking about photoelectric effect. And the six-year-old Shubhan Isaac proved the photoelectric effect, explaining how the photon force electrons sitting in, sitting on the metal, bounded to the nucleus, now close. And then he asked Isaac how much energy that photon needed to knock that electron loose. That's right. That's known as work, work function. There are, Isaac said, there are 92 metal on the periodic table and every metal requires different type of work function to get knock loose. Mm. And Shubhan Isaac explained all of those. And he finally was able to calculate the kinetic energy of the photoelectron and the velocity of the photoelectron, proving that the light is, once again, as Isaac Newton claimed, a particle, not a wave. Mm. And then the MIT scientist asked Isaac to prove that the speed of light was three times 10 to the eight meters per second. Yeah. The MIT scientist asked Shubhan Isaac to calculate the frequency, the frequency of light when it jumps down from N3 to N2. And then the MIT scientist asked Isaac to find the wavelength of the light when it jumps from N3 uh, to N2. Yes, the MIT scientist asked Shubhan Isaac to calculate the wavelength, the wavelength of the electron that jumps down from N3 to N2. And then he, the MIT scientist asked Isaac to relate the wavelength of the light to the frequency of the light. Yes. He asked him to relate the wavelength and the frequency of the light. Mm -hmm. To its velocity. And Shubhan Isaac said, well, if wavelength go off, the frequency must go down mm -hmm. and vice versa. Was able to calculate the C, which is lambda times frequency. Mm -hmm. And magic happened. He got three times ten raised to eight, eight yeah. meter per second. A six year old was able to use all the properties of physics, which is PhD level and post PhD level. Some of the things even people who have a PhD in physics don't understand was able to do all those things in front of. MIT scientist in front of camera. And then the MIT scientist asked Isaac to derive the formula C, which is the speed of light, is equal to frequency times lambda. Wavelength. And then the MIT scientist take it one step further. He said, well, light is as mighty as, 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 as as mightier as as one can think maybe mightier than anything else in the universe but light itself feel helpless once it comes to black hole now he asked Shubhan Isaac to find the fundamental relationship or behavior of light when it interacts with the black hole how light behaves when it interacts with black hole. And then the MIT scientist asked Isaac to prove that uh, light cannot ever escape the surface of a black hole. Yes, because the black hole 
to show a strong gravitational pull, which Shubhana is a proof. Nothing, not even light, can escape the black hole. And he had to prove that. And he used the cutting edge math, the post PhD level physics to prove that six year old in front of MIT scientist will never seen this type of thing before. But he seen it yesterday. And then the MIT scientist asked Isaac what the size of the earth has to be for the earth to become a black hole. Yeah, that's correct. MIT scientists asked him to prove that light cannot move faster than the speed of light. Light cannot move faster than the speed of light, meaning light cannot move faster than 3 times 10 raised to 8, eight meters, meters per second. second. It, it just cannot because of Einstein. So he had to use Lorentz transformation and Einstein's special theory of relativity and general theory of relativity to prove that the light cannot move faster than 3 times 10 raised to 8 meter per second. We are talking about 6 year old. He was so enthusiastic in front of MIT scientist. Every child in the world should watch this interview, which will release tomorrow. Right. And make sure you stay tuned for the interview. Oh, before. And then he asked Shubhan Isaac to find the escape velocity of Earth. Oh, which turned out to be... 11,200 meters per second. Yes. So Shubhano is like using kinetic energy and potential energy to derive escape velocity of the earth. If you can, what does that, what does that mean, escape velocity? If you can gain, as you said, 11,200 meters per second, if you jump up at 11,200 meters per second, you don't have to come back or jump down. You will go up, 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 forever. That what we call escape velocity and Shubhan Isaac calculated that. And then the MIT scientists asked Isaac to calculate the force, the gravitational pull of a black hole. Well, before that he asked him to turn. Uh -huh. Uh, to a black hole. One way you can turn out to a black hole by shrinking what? Uh, shrinking into the size of a marble. Yes, how can you do that? The earth radius is 6.4 times 10 raised to 6. Yeah. And you have to shrink it to, it's a big, the earth radius is very big. It's, it's 6 times 10 raised to 6 meters. It's, it's big. The earth is big. If you can squash it to somehow nine times nine times ten, ten raised to, to negative three. negative three meter mm -hmm. that earth will become a black, black hole, hole because nine times ten raised to negative three is within the property of Schwarzschild radius mm -hmm. and Shubhan Isaac proved that spending half an hour and then the MIT scientists asked Isaac to prove that when the Earth is the size of, uh, when the Earth has a radius of 9 times 10 to the minus 3 meters, nothing can escape its surface. Not even light. Not even light. It sucks up everything mm -hmm. coming close to the black hole because it has a social radius. The gravitational pull is so strong that nothing survives give you an example I am 70 kilogram so the gravitational pull is how much 70, 70 times, times 10 9. 
let's let's say ten. Mm -hmm. So how much? Seven hundred. Seven hundred newton. Gravitational pull is on me is seven hundred newton, which is fine. I survive. I walk. I eat. I do whatever I like to do. However, if I turn to a black hole, that gravitational fall will be so huge because of the short child radius. You, that's it's gonna be like ten raised to negative ten raised to positive nineteen newtons. Newton. Yeah. So, hmm. if you go close to black hole, it will suck you up immediately. It works so fast that you hit sucked up before. Hmm. Before your legs. Before your legs. Yeah. And Trubon Isaac spent almost five hours to show all the properties, use all the properties of physics and advanced math to prove all those things. And we are so proud of him. When we talk about MIT scientists, we are talking about we are talking about the biggest and most prestigious engineering school in the whole world. So Shubhano Isaac made a history yesterday. Why we are promoting this? We are promoting this because we want you to be like Shubhano Isaac. We want you children to be like Shubhano Isaac. We want you student be Shubhano Isaac if you happen to be a teacher. How can you do that? One way you can do that is by watching this interview. Every school, every college, every university in the whole world should and will watch this interview soon to inspire young people to fall in love with math and science. Right, and you should always stay tuned for this live of Shubhan Isaac's uh, interview with the MIT scientist. We'll release it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So make sure you stay tuned. Thank you, and have a good night. It's night here in New York City. So we wish you have a good night. Bye now. Bye now.